Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Epcanis writing tablets. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abcanis Stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? Get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen, 
Turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. Okay, worked fine. I can see you. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. Who are you? I do not recognize the sound of your steps. Please help me. I've had an accident. You should never have come here, young lady. This is not a place for you. Or anyone else. Why? What's going on here? My son, Obed, is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? The creatures of darkness. You must help him. You must take Obed with you before it is too late. Wait, what creatures? The creatures of darkness? What is... You see, young lady, here on Shadow Island, the shadows are alive. They come and lick your face like hellfire. The shadows are cold and sharp and like razor blades. The shadows stalk you. They feed off your breath and your heat, but mainly off of your fear. Light dispels the shadows, but light also reveals the shadows. Obed will explain this better than I can. Where is he? How would I know? I haven't seen him for three days now. The last time he came, he entrusted me with this key. A statue in the smoking room. Take it. I don't hear anything. Hush! Howard? Howard? Is that you? Howard? Oh, what in heaven's name are you doing? Who's Howard? It's my husband, of course. Obed's father. Howard? Young lady, please go have a look in the corridor. There might be a problem. Howard? Is that you? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Did you hear something? I want you to answer me. I swear, I heard something. Quit stalling. Did you talk about our research to this Mr. Lamb, yes or no? Well, how do you think I was able to find all those guinea pigs for you? That's your problem. Oh, no. It's not my problem. It's our problem. Listen carefully, Obed. I've been putting up with your whining and your cowardice for years, but it's over now. You've known my goals from the beginning, and nobody, especially not me, forced you into following me. So if I were to find out that you betrayed me, well, you know me, and you know I would not hesitate for a second. Oh, yes. I know you. I know you are completely mad. It's you! It it's you who- Yes, it's me. And so what? Never cross me again. Ever. You stick to your narcotic stupor and let me fulfill our destiny. But Professor Morton... Professor? Professor! What are you doing here? I came to talk to you. I... To talk to me? Young lady, one doesn't come to Shadow Island to talk. Talking is useless here. Daddy?
Carnby? Carnby, answer me! Aline, I thought you were dead. I thought so too. I'm not cut out for a place like this. I want all this to stop right now. I understand that. You understand? You understand? You don't understand a thing! I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want with me, but all I want is for this nightmare to end right now. Look, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. Obed Morton drugged me and then locked me in here. And I tried to help him. Sounds like your wonderful professor might not be so wonderful after all. Don't move, I'm coming. Is that the best you can do? Yes, I am doing my best. Well, okay. Hurry up. Lamb? Is that you? Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You have no idea what is going on here. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. You're a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Lamb? Lamb! No, no, don't do it. Let me explain. Now you are going to tell me what's going on. I still don't know. Here, I got your stuff. Thanks. I never should have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not sure anymore. I have this feeling there's more than one Obed Morton. It's too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you, somewhere you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby, you and I both know the safest place is two hours away by plane. I haven't managed too bad up to now, and I'm not planning on just sitting around doing nothing with the little time I have left to live. I want to know. Just before, I heard a voice up above. There's a trap door. With your help, I can reach it. Why not stick together, the two of us? We both don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane? Come on, give me a hand. And if I say no? That's not your style.
I knew I could trust you. Come, come, have no fear. Do as Alice did, come to me. Everything is so much more beautiful on the other side of the looking glass. Come, come now. Give me the mirror. Fulfill our agreement. I shall tell you who your father is. What? All those years filled with doubt and pains, yet you still hesitate? Give me the mirror. Now. Carnby, you're going to be proud of me. I already am proud of you. I managed to defeat Deserto's ghost, and he had a statue. So our mission is nearly over. Are you sure of that? No, I only said it to bolster our courage. Let me congratulate you, young woman, for I admire your courage. But who are you? They call me Edenshaw. Finally, I meet you. Maybe you can explain everything. I want to talk with Obed Morton. Before you try and talk to him, you should go to his office. You will find out a lot more there. But what happened to him? Time is running short. I, who am the last witch doctor, I ask for your help. My forefathers showed me the Abkhanis ritual that can destroy the heart of darkness. I must carry it out tonight, or else it will be too late for the human race. We must stop the shadows before they spread across our world. But what can I do? We must find the seven statues of our seven gods of light. Only then can I carry out the ritual. Only then can I become the one the white men stopped me from becoming. The last of the warriors of light. I promise to help you. But how am I going to recognize them? Each of the seven gods has a holy animal companion. The statues represent these companions. <sighs> but... Edenshaw? Edenshaw? Carnby, I talked with Edenshaw. I'm sure he's Abkhanis. Good for him. Edenshaw is an Abkhanis Indian. Carnby, Abkhanis Indians disappeared in the early 1800s. I confess I never really realized that. Okay, let's skip that part. Anyhow, he needs seven statues to carry out a ritual. Did he tell you that? No, he told me he was fresh out of strawberry sherbet. Carnby, of course he told me that. If I understand correctly, the statues depict animals. So they shouldn't be too hard to recognize. As soon as I find one, I'll radio you back.
So, have you seen Obed? Unfortunately, I think so. I don't know what's going on. Does Obed have enemies? What has he done that everyone hates him so? And why didn't you tell me that you had another son? Alan, that horrid beast is my son no longer. We have very little hope left. Our family bears a dark secret, young lady, and Alan is the cause of it. Obed gave me this here. I know too well what it is. Oh, oh, poor Howard. What have I done to deserve this hell? You must ask yourself the very same question, young lady. You did not end up here by chance. If the Lord allows you to escape, shed some light on your own life. You were born out of a misdeed and you are paying for that sin. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know better than I do. Enough! Leave me now! I'm weary and wish to sleep. Besides, all in all, I find you very unpleasant. Why did you try and stop me in my path, Father? You mustn't struggle against your fate. But you won't have died in vain. Your body is about to experience a new birth. The darkness blending into your blood will make you a stronger being. You will be faster. You will be a complete being. Oh, marvelously complete. First injection. Farewell, Father. Second injection. Welcome, new man.
I'm in the library. I'm sure it didn't reveal all its secrets, but... That's for sure. You'll never have enough time to read all the books in there. That's not what I meant. Well, then trust your in... I need you one last time. I knew you would be back. Were you able to speak with Obed? Not yet, but I know now that he's alive for sure. I've got to tell you, your sons are monsters. Oh no. The true monster is this island. You must know, young lady. Tonight is a special night. As for me, I shall let myself be carried away. I shall let myself slip away. I, I have had enough and wish to rest now. Save your soul. I'm gonna try and save my body first. But I can't find a way out of this place. I only have one half of the medallion. I know not how you came about it and do not wish to know. Here's the other half. May I ask you one last thing? Go ahead. Your son, Obed. Did he ever talk to you about... I mean, did he ever tell you he had a child? A daughter? Obed, a child? But with, with whom? Obed was never interested in anything apart from his accursed Indians. Obed burned his life away in the flames of a pernicious passion, and yet... How could it have been otherwise? But why such a question? For no reason. No reason at all. Don't worry. I'll bring him back to you. Don't worry. No, you shall do no such thing. I am to die, and you are to live. Such are our fates, opposite yet intertwined. to enter the realm of darkness, where Howard will come and meet me as soon as you set him free. Thank you, young lady. I know you have a statue. There are still six missing. I don't understand why you never did something before. You could have prevented this whole nightmare. I am but a man. You have no idea what this ritual is for me. But time is running short. I know Alan is getting ready to open the gate, and that will unleash a true flood. You know I want to help. If I'm going to die, let's at least make it worthwhile. So. 
Give me a hint before you vanish again. Go to the fort. That is the Morton's true place. That is where you shall unveil the secrets of the island.
I imagine you've come for me. You can tell Lamb that the writing tablets are of no use now. Alan already knows the translation, and thus has all the cards in hand. The gate is about to open, and the darkness to pour over the earth. The creatures will indulge in massacres that even all the armies of the world could never stop. Nothing can save us from the darkness now. You too should prepare to die. Night is falling all over the world. It has slipped its cold hand into my brain. Stop! Stop! I only want to find out if you knew Mary Cedric. Cedric? Cedric? The name reminds me of a long gone past. But I want nothing to do with memories. I must stop it. I must stop it from getting to my eyes. Mary Cedric. Mary. <sighs> my blood is curdling. I feel my bones snapping like a block of ice in my chest. Are you sure you never knew Mary Cedric? Are you sure you're not my father? <laughs> Me? Your father? <laughs> Me? A daughter? I don't know who put that foolish idea in your mind. But let me tell you, that is simply impossible. So now, let me gather myself. I wish to ready myself for the judgment. When one bears the supreme sin as I do, one must get ready before the darkness. But I can see.
Am I happy to hear your voice? Where are you? I've reached the Circle of Stones. I know it's an Abkhani's cult place. I even know the steps to follow. You know everything that happened to me since I nearly died while landing on the island. Well, I feel like my entire vision of the world and life, all my ideas, my convictions. Were you able to? Yes. I think he's totally lost his mind. I get the feeling you never got an answer to your questions. But what got you thinking he was in the first place? Johnson did. He showed me a picture of Obed Morton and my mother. The dates coincided. I really wonder what he wanted by sending us out here. Anyhow, if he really wanted to get rid of us, he could have done a better job. I know better ways of doing that. Whatever. If we survive this, I'm telling you he's gonna have some explaining to do. But in the meantime, I have this incantation I need to recite facing a specific direction. It seems the Stellas bear inscriptions, and according to the papers I was able to go over, there must be some sort of planetarium on the fort, something that has to do with the Circle of Stones. I think that's just where I am now. Well, perfect. Contact me as soon as you find something, okay? Okay. Over. me. I think I found something for you. I discovered a series of Abkhanis symbols that correspond to various orientations, and I'm standing in front of a control board that must be what operates the planetarium. But I can only punch numbers in. Each of the stellas in this circle of stones indicates a cardinal point. Maybe your orientations have something to do with how the stellas are positioned. What's the first one? I think it's North. Wait, there's an inscription at the top of the North Stella. One mark. Okay, one mark. And on the Southeast Stella? Not so fast. Okay, I'm there. This Stella has no inscription at all. I think I'm starting to understand. Go to the West Stella. West Stella, three marks. Southwest Stella? Okay, one mark. There's more. Stay with me now. East Stella. East Stella, two marks. What now? And if I said Northwest? I'd answer... I'd answer... nothing. Southeast Stella. Are you sure? I mean, I've already done that one. Just trust me. Okay, okay. Nothing, of course. And last of all, Southwest Stella. Southwest Stella. One mark. Perfect. I gotta think about this. I'll get back to you. Hey, hold on. I didn't do all this just so... So, Mr. Witch Doctor. How about that ritual? Okay, I know, I know. I'll trust you. I think so. Wait, your indications correspond to a date. To today. What? I think I'm starting to get it. 
the date of the ritual, the opening of the gate, the statues. Let me enter today's date into the planetarium control board. <sighs> it's incredible. The planets are lining up towards the east. It's like you've been doing this all your life. I'll perform the ritual and then get back to you. Carnby, be careful. Now that's a luxury I think we can't afford. Over. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about 10 inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. Warning you, I won't hesitate to shoot. Aline? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. Sorry. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. I have the impression that all this is getting us nowhere. I found nothing but scraps of information, pieces of a puzzle that don't fit together. Like this seal. A seal? Show me. Not so fast. Do you have the stone disc? Oh, I appreciate your confidence. Sorry, but I've learned to be suspicious of everything. Whether you like it or not, we're partners, and we don't have time to waste. Okay then, if talking to me is such a waste of time... That's not what I meant. But it is what you said. Here's the seal. Give me the stone disc. I need it. Okay, but I want to tell you that I really admire your courage. And only my courage? We'll see about the rest some other time. Go on. Good luck. You too, Carnby. I have three statues. Me too. And I hope Edenshaw has the seventh one. We 
have to go meet him at the gate. I think everything's about to unfold right now. But how do I get there? According to Alan's diary, there's a passageway that starts in the fort. Carnby, you're so helpful that sometimes I have the feeling I couldn't do without you. Aline, let's stop wasting more time.
We both reached the same point. We don't have much time. We gotta hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. 
The gate is now before thee, the gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it, thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus, if the gate is opened, whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's gotta be Hecaton Kiris, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up. I'm begging you, Alan. You have no idea of the consequences of what you're about to do. Edenshaw. For years now you've been watching me, expecting this moment, just so you could see if your powers of witchcraft were still alive. But it's too late. You should have come begging long ago. You and I know that today is the day, or the night, actually. You're shaking. Yet you're like all the others, fascinated. I realize that only my father was able to fight the madness that courses through all of the Mortons, and that is what killed him. I am the one who killed him. And you want me to give up now? I've spent my entire life waiting for this moment. I never cared for your human world. My research has paid off. I have created a new being, a being with no conscience, no feelings, no pain, a being who will know neither doubt nor hope. Soon my children shall rule the earth, and my brother, that coward, will be one of them. I know what this statue represents, and that is why I am taking it with me. You thought that by destroying my world, you'd fulfill your destiny? Don't expect me to let you have that happy end. Get out of my way. As for you, strangers, I know not what brought you here, but you too shall soon experience the taste of darkness and oblivion. Light has for too long ruled alone. It is time for darkness to spill out across the world. Bonadza Ternas Guru Helie Zair Hecatonkires! I am begging you, do not give up. If I do not recover the seventh statue, we are all doomed. But Carnby is dead. I'll never be able to make it on my own. Your friend is not dead. 
If he were dead, it would mean the gods of light have given up on us, and then we would have no choice but to kneel down and wait for the shadows. Believe me, Conby is not dead. I know what Alan wishes. He wants to make the seventh statue disappear in the depths of the shadows, thus preventing me from carrying out the ritual. You must stop him before the sun comes up and the shadows spill out. Do you realize what you're asking me? I came here to authenticate a translation and meet Obed Morton, and I end up risking my life every five seconds fighting terrifying creatures. Our fate is written, but we do not know how to read it. Learn to remember your dreams and make your mind up. You know very well that I can't say no. I've come too far already. Beyond the gate, you will have to survive. Remember that the waters of the springs you will find can cure you of all harm. But beware, they are few. Go now. Our world is in your hands. You have no idea how happy I am to hear your voice. Aline, I had this strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. Then you must be on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Edenshaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news. I promise you, we're going to make it.
Lady warrior, thou art valiant. I like it that the children of light be full of courage. Take this charm, for you have many more fights ahead of you. And I, Hecatonchiris, wish for you to be victorious. Carnby? I was wondering if on your side you... The life I lead doesn't leave... But what is it that drives you so? But no one's forcing you to do this. You mean to say that I enjoy it? I guess you're right.
If I had any time to spare, I'd congratulate you for your courage, but I'm running late. And it's also way too late for you, like for the others. Nothing can stop me now. Look! Look what you did to your brother! Obed? But... up here. All hell's broken loose. I can't get back up. I have to find some other way. You go on. We'll meet up later. But I can't. I Go. I'm Obed Morton was my father! I had no other choice. Lamb absolutely wanted you to go to Shadow Island. At first, I believed it concerned the tablets. But then I realized he only wanted to get rid of Carnby and you. Because you were the last two people who might get in his way. As for the translations, he'd have gotten them from Obed Morton anyhow. What about the picture? It was doctored. Damn! What kind of work do you really do? I work for the government. I was asked to infiltrate Lamb's organization, but it appears my cover was blown, and he sent his hitmen after me. You see, this is tough on all of us. I manipulated you, but was manipulated myself. All I can say is that I'm sorry. Now you will have to trust me. I'll try and get you out of there in an hour or two. I don't need your help. Over. Johnson, if you're really with the government, warn your superiors, call in the army, do something. I can't. Yes, that he has the power of opening the gates of darkness. The gates of darkness. I discovered that Lamb has located two other gates. No, that's not possible. Tell me this isn't happening. The helicopter pilot tells me we'll reach you before sunrise. I'm begging you. Don't give up on us now. I want to break your jaw so bad there's no way I'm giving up yet.
my little baby girl. Stop! Don't listen to him. Shoot! Shoot! Oh, oh my God! Daughter, would you dare shoot your own father? You're not my father. Nobody's my father! Everything's about to collapse. Run for it. I saw a helicopter on the west shore. You haven't a second to waste. Hurry, because the sun will be rising soon. But, and you? I can now fulfill my destiny, thanks to you. I am most grateful. Now go. geologist specializing in what scientists call plate tectonics. Could you tell us more about what happened? Shadow Island was situated precisely on the crest of a minor fault line. This fault line suddenly spread by a dozen or so meters and the island literally sank. Miss Wallace, you can send Fishburne his nice little reward. 